comes to Calvin Smith. He is poised. He is ready. He is here in Zurich tonight. Ben Johnson is in lane three. Calvin Smith of the United States in lane four. Stanley Floyd of the U.S. in lane five. And Raymond Stewart of Jamaica in lane six. Chidi Imu was one of the stars of the European season. Last year has not run quite as well. This year, Marie, uh, Bruno Marie Rose is his name from France, and he is a top 10 performer. He's all of 6'4", Phil, 183 pounds, and he's among the fastest in the world. As you look there at the red countenance uh, singlet of Mr. Calvin Smith, and next to him is Ben Johnson chewing the gum. 5'10 and a half, 165 pounds of sheer muscle and power. Stanley Floyd, number 17. NCAA champion, 1982. Went and tried his hand in pro athletics and came back to track and field. He wanted to return punts for a while. Never got a chance at it. In lane six, Chidi Emo, last year ranked number two in the world behind Canada's Ben Johnson. He attended Missouri, the University of Missouri. Many of these foreign athletes have been trained in America. Ray Stewart has been also. You mentioned at the outset of our telecast, Larry, you thought perhaps a world record might be set tonight. Watch Johnson start in lane three. Great start for Ben Johnson. Calvin Smith right on his shoulder, his running second. Ben Johnson. And just look at that fluid stride. It is Johnson, the winner tonight. Calvin Smith finishes second, I believe. It was Jamaica's Raymond Stewart taking third. What a start. I mean, what a start. I mean, Calvin Smith uh, hung on for second, but he was a good three and a half feet behind at the finish line. He is a notoriously bad starter. I didn't have time to say that, and I wanted to lay out before the start. Watch the two of them in red and white in lanes three and four. Look at how quickly he is out. Look how he leaves Calvin in the blocks. And Johnson is so explosive and strong, and he gets out, uses his arms well. Look how much he pumps his arms and motors down that stretch. He has virtually no flaws. Watch, I noticed in the race, watch how uh, in, in the red, Smith closes slightly on him at the finish. Lewis doesn't have the best top speed in the last 20 meters, and it might be where a Carl Lewis can catch him. Notice the closing on him a little bit. Stewart is closing on him a little bit, too. But, boy, his rest of his race is so complete. He ran into a three-mile-per-hour headwind as well and still ran under 10 seconds. I mean, that might be, if you eliminated that wind, the fastest time ever run, if you could do that, just to give you an idea of the quality of what we have just seen. Let's just watch this action in close-up. Catch the intensity. You can see the effort to relax still, flutter the cheeks, the focus down the track, and yet you're running at 99% of total speed. You do not run the 100 all out for the entire distance. You ease back ever so slightly to just relax the body. Notice the lean at the tape, something you have to do. The only way to describe Ben Johnson's start out of the blocks tonight, explosive. Add to that incredible acceleration and that produced the winner here tonight, Ben Johnson, a time of 9.97. 20 times since 1984, he has been under 10.10 in the 100 meters. The bronze medalist at the Games, Lewis, hasn't beaten him since 1985. And you wonder, perhaps, would Johnson have recorded a world record without that headwind? Let's find out. My start was pretty good, and uh, I, I went a, a very good time. I went right to the line, but uh, was up for one point to Edwin, so I'm pleased with my time. The crowd is great, you know, behind me all the way, and uh, hopefully, you know, they can see our record here tonight, but, you know, I try my best, and like I said before, the, the win was 1.2, Edwin in the face, so I'm pleased with my 9 and 7.